For the last segment of this tutorial, I'd like to mention the often misunderstood dedicated mixing with reference curves. I can see you now facepalming yourself should I maintain that mixes that look similar in the analyzer also sound similar. Therefore, I'd like to formulate it differently. When it looks different, it sounds different. Of course, one is able, with white noise, for example, to more or less generate every curve on the analyzer, even those stored away as references. If the reference is called, for example, pop rock, then it naturally has nothing to do with white noise, but rather a pop rock mix with drums, bass, guitars, keyboards, and vocals. And if the energy curve of your mix is similar to our reference, then you can be sure that it sounds more typical for that genre than if your energy curve clearly deviates. With the Hofa IQ analyzer, you can store your own reference curves or load the curves provided by Hofa. Compare the curves of your works with a stylistically fitting reference to optimize the frequency response of your mix. Also, use your own stored reference curves when mixing or mastering a batch of songs to get a general album sound. Even if this technology is not indisputable, we have implemented it for a good reason, simply because it can really help you if you are willing to follow these two rules. Rule number one, invest some time to learn how to work with reference curves. Get to know the peak and energy curves of well-sounding productions to song parts, single tracks and samples. With the IQ analyzer, this requires, thanks to drag and drop, only a small amount of time. Soon you'll realize that there are easily recognized patterns of sound that you can use to your benefits just by saving the more interesting curves for later comparison and recalling them whenever you want. And with this we come to rule number two. Always be critical. Try to get as close to the reference curve only as far as it serves the overall sound. At the end of the day, there are no prizes for congruent curves. Factors such as different instruments, different keys, manners of playing, mixing or mastering provide for understandable differences. When comparing material with different loudnesses, you can simply pull up or down the reference curves, just as with the IQEQ. With a double click, you can undo the movement. If you are ready to learn and regularly compare your works acoustically to other material, then the reference curves of the Hofa IQ analyzers will always provide you with good services and help for a more technical understanding and better sound. The demo version offers you 10 minutes of full functionality after every plug-in start. The installation is very easy, and after the purchase at the Hofa plug-in store, you get your personal activation code which you can use on two systems. Contact us if you have any questions or suggestions. Have lots of fun and lots of success with your productions. Goodbye.